Conor McGregor's return to the Octagon did not go according to plan on Saturday night. He loses to Habib Nurmagomedov in the UFC 229 main event, a fourth round submission, a very tough outing for Conor on this night. He just really could not get anything going at any point. Uh, was submitted in the fourth round, as I said, even knocked down by one of Habib's punches prior to that. I don't think anyone saw that one coming. Uh, and just a tough, tough night for him. He really, this was the worst style matchup for him. We all knew it going in and it ended up playing out as a lot of people predicted. Uh, so for him, Connor, you kind of go back to square one. It's, a, it's rough for him right now since he's left the featherweight division. He's had mixed success at these higher weight classes against different fighters. Uh, for him, I don't suggest he goes back to 145. I think 155 is his premium weight class. And I think he fights next against Nate Diaz. I think you do that trilogy. It's the time for it. Of course, Nate Diaz fighting Dustin Poirier. We hope next month at UFC 230. Win or lose, I think you do that trilogy fight. It's one to one at this point. It's a huge money fight. There need, doesn't need to be a title on the line. You don't need to tie up any weight classes, anything like that. So let's run this back one more time. Let's settle the Diaz versus McGregor trilogy and find out who the better fighter is between those two once and for all.